Okay, here we are at, I think, what we dubbed garden number three. And really, guys, it's not a lot to show you because um, we've had a couple sunny days these last couple days, but they haven't been very warm. And before that, it's been nothing but rain and, you know, being kind of chilly. And so I came here a few days ago and look at that pepper plant. Now that's the really hot pepper. Something is eating it, but look at the color of the leaves. The new ones look a little bit better, but um, I don't know. <laughs> that's the neighbor's dog barking over there. And there's a lawnmower, but I hope you guys can hear me. And then here are like the bell pepper plants. See this? Now, the newer ones are looking a little better, a little darker green. A couple days ago, they were more yellow. And I'm just not sure what the problem is. Um, this ground here has never been used as a garden before, so I figured it should be pretty good. Um, I did put a little bit of organic fertilizer in here a few days ago, so I don't know if that's helping. I'm trying to figure out if maybe the soil's lacking something or it's been too wet or it's been too cold because out of all the plants most of them just seem stagnant like they seem to be exactly how i planted them they haven't grown at all they're not dying off but you know look at they just are not seeing much growth i mean they kind of look healthy if you're uh look here you know at the uh, oh geez Louise kohlrabi for some reason I was gonna call it bok choy and um, even the little marigolds are doing a little something but not much I mean and then we have the tomatoes over here um, the bottom leaves weren't looking good I took those off I trimmed them off it's looking a little bit better but there really is no very little growth and so I want to chalk it up to the colder weather and the cloudy days and the too much rain because this is a high clay soil and so when it rains a lot like that it just really really hangs on to the water and over here is where I planted up that garlic Somehow it either already started rotting or got lost or something. I don't know because there's only a few of them. Here's one. I think I planted like nine of them. And I'm only seeing three, maybe four. Can you see that in there? I hope so. And so, well, who knows? I said it was, you know, I was taking a chance doing it anyhow. But, um... Yeah, you know, give me your thoughts on what you think's going on with them peppers. And yeah, something's definitely eating that really hot pepper in the corner there. I may go and get some um, row cover and cover them with that. And hopefully it'll keep the pests away for now. And um, maybe it'll help, you know, trap some um, daytime heat too. But right now I'm going to take off those bad leaves and then we're going to head on over to garden number two. Okay, well here we are at garden number two. And these peppers aren't looking a whole lot better. Uh, the one is okay, I guess, but look at here. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't know if I just got bad plants or what the heck. Because these are two completely different growing areas, different soil. I don't know, maybe it is weather related. This, this area here gets far, well not far, but it definitely gets more sun than the other place. And like I said, it's different soil. So either these plants aren't the greatest or 
it really is um, the weather, the cooler air and all the rain. I don't, I really don't know. Um, the marigolds have some flowers. The plants themselves really haven't grown much. But um, the herbs look good. So here we have uh, oregano. The rosemary looks fine. And I think this is spearmint. Let me grab a leaf. I already forgot. Oh yeah, that's spearmint. That's the one I said I shouldn't have planted in here. <laughs> and then uh, uh, parsley's okay. I wouldn't say much more than that. But look at here. Look at that. It's like sun scald. But this is a... That's a cucumber plant. So what the heck? I don't know. It's full sun, but still, cucumbers need that. Over here, the zucchini's looking pretty good. This poor little marigold plant here. And on to the tomatoes. This plant looks healthy enough. It just hasn't grown. You know, this is the cherry and it was smaller than the other plants, but it still is, so it isn't growing a whole lot. It does look like it's got a little bit more leaf growth on it, but height-wise it hasn't grown. Boy, could there be any more noise? There's traffic here and now a plane going. And then look at here. I'll probably take that off. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess all I can really do is, you know, take off some of this dead stuff. Um, I'm afraid to put any kind of fertilizer in this bed, even organic, because I think last year when my son filled it, um, he used a lot of, I think the soil had all this fertilizer in it, basically. And I think it was overkill, so I don't want to add more this year if I can get away with it. Um, so I'm going to take off these leaves, let them go a few more days, come back and check. And if it's not improved, then I think I will add something. But like, see, if you can see here, all these little, I'm going to pull all these off. I really don't want any kind of flower or fruiting on a plant that, you know, is this small. And, see that came right off all on its own. Um, yeah, I don't want something fruiting on a unhealthy plant, you know. So, um, I, wasn't, I, pro I wasn't really going to show you guys the balcony garden, but I probably will when I get back there. Um, not a lot of growth there either, to be honest with you. But I'll I'll get a little bit um, of film for you guys. I gotta pick up my laundry first. <laughs> I did sheets and stuff today, so let me do that first, and I'll show you guys. Okay, I got the laundry cleaned up. So the flowers, they're doing fine. You know, they look good. I just like them to spread out a little bit more. Uh, the lettuces, kind of sparse. This thing's going to seed. They're doing all okay. And uh, the sage is looking good. And some more flowers. And my beloved begonias. I love begonias. Tuber begonias. Um, these are goofy looking. I don't know. Look at this. Look at how they keep... <laughs> I keep trying to, you know, I don't know. Those are um, calendula pot marigold. The marjoram, this thing's growing kind of nutsy. I've already picked a little bit of it. Time's not looking that great. 
I think this is oregano, I think. I should have marked this stuff, huh? And over here, these are those Mexican marigolds. They're supposed to get really tall. I thought they'd get taller than this, but they're already got flower heads on them. I don't know. Um, these are growing fairly well. I moved this pot a little bit to get more sun. But uh, my chard, yeah, that's it's not looking so good. Oops, just uh, not enough sun. More flowers. Gotta water everything. But anyhow, that is my update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend or week, depending on when you see this. It was nice talking to you. And you take care.